Even though it's only in beta and just for PC only, match replay is easily one of Siege's best features that they've added in the past two years. Being able to watch your own games from anyone's POV is amazing and helps a ton in seeing just how bad your teammates were after the fact. However, this feature is pretty limited. On top of only being able to watch replays from the current version of Siege, there's no official method for sharing files. But there are some things that let you circumvent that. For example, if you have multiple accounts on the same installation of Siege, you can view all of those match replays from either account. Because all the files are stored in a shared location, this means you can take any files, move them to that common folder, and watch them in the match replay system. Now real quick, before I get into the actual process, why don't you take two seconds to subscribe. Okay, let's start off with uploading files. The easiest way to upload your own match replay files to be shared with friends is through something like Google Drive or any other cloud file storage service. Find your default installation of Siege and go to the match replay folder. You can upload the game's entire folder to whatever service you want and share it with your friend. As far as the upload goes, it might take a little bit because the files can get pretty large. All you really need to do is make sure that the folder name itself is the same exact one that you have in your own match replay folder. And just like that, you're done. You have uploaded your match replay folder, and now let's move on to downloading it. So to simplify it as much as possible, you could always download it straight into your match replay folder. I like to go through downloads and then drag it in. Just so everything's organized, they don't end up downloading anything accidentally into there. But it really doesn't matter. So once you do that, you have to make sure that there are no extra letters or numbers after. So individual rounds will have ro1.rec after them. But everything before that is identical. So just make sure that the name of the folder matches those files. So for example, this match folder should be named match 2021-0326 underscore 2051-29189. And if you have that exact name as the folder name, you can run it. And the coolest thing about this match replay system is that it updates live. So unlike changing your data center or changing other graphics settings through the INI file, you don't actually have to restart your game. It will live update just as if you were to play that game. And you can see here, I'm just going to open up my friend's match replay. And works just like a charm. So the other thing to keep in mind is that there is still the 12 game file cap. So if you want to save your past games, you can move them into a separate folder, just outside of your Siege installation on your desktop or whatever. So just be aware ahead of time that once you put this 13th file in, the last one will be deleted. So if you need to save it, if not, it'll be gone. And that's all for this quick tutorial. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.